Charges to be dropped against man accused of starting Colorado wildfire that destroyed 144 homes. This is out there at Colorado.com, but it's by the AP article by Colleen Slevin. A prosecutor says criminal charges will probably be dropped against a mentally ill Danish man accused of starting a large 2018 Colorado wildfire. They said they can no longer forcibly medicate him. DA Alonzo Payne made the comment without elaborating on the reasons during a court hearing to discuss the case against Jesper Jorgensen, who's been repeatedly found mentally incompetent to stand trial. Alonzo Payne suggested that he would like Jorgensen, who was in the U.S. illegally when he was charged with starting the fire that destroyed over 140 homes in southern Colorado, to be deported. We do believe ICE custody is going to be the next step here, said Payne, who said prosecutors must still contact victims of the fire for required consultations. Alonzo Payne did not return a telephone message seeking additional com comment. Judge Gregory Lyman considered dropping the charges against Jorgensen about a year ago if he could be deported as his lawyers had urged. But Lyman abandoned the idea after another prosecutor told him that Jorgensen would not be deported if released from jail because of the Biden administration changes that would not make him a priority for ICE. Lyman instead ordered Jorgensen to be sent to the Colorado Mental Health Institute in Pueblo where patients can be forcibly medicated if a judge agrees certain legal criteria are met. In August, another judge allowed Jorgensen to be forcibly medicated to treat his significant personality disorder and delusional disorder at the state mental health hospital, but reversed the order in December after Jorgensen's lawyers intervened. According to a court uh, filing by Jorgensen's lawyers seeking to dismiss the case, Jorgensen showed slight improvements after taking the medication himself at the hospital to avoid having it forcibly administered. However, his lawyers argued that he would likely regress after being sent back to a county jail where he would stay while standing trial because the jail does not have staff to forcibly medicate people. 9news.com charges may be dropped for spring fire suspect. Jesper Jorgensen is accused of starting the spring fire in Southern Colorado 2018. Darren Whitehead is adding to Colleen Slevin's article, Costilla County, Colorado. A prosecutor says criminal charges will probably be dropped against a mentally ill Danish man accused of starting a large 2018 Colorado w wildfire. That wildfire, while negligent, destroyed 140 fucking houses. And where the hell was the fire department? God damn, talk about fire, talk about a fire department and police department that's total dog shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, it's one bad thing that dude fell asleep, but, you know, how come dude falling asleep was able to cause a damn wildfire that are you guys, you know, maintaining? Are you sitting there making sure? I mean, do you know? If, I grew up with Smokey the Bear and shit. I mean, my God, if it was getting out of hand like that, that's when you call everybody and anybody. You get shovels and, you know, you get to, get to work. But he should have been held, call, he's <clears throat> responsible. It's just, bull, I'm just getting sick and tired of these motherfuckers who commit major fucking crimes. <clears throat> getting away with the bullshit. Uh, I guess that one um, child abuse case, I think she got sentenced, you know, finally. But you had the King Supers, the King Supers shooter, that guy. He's, uh, you know, he's at the mental state hospital. And then you got... Um, fucking James Holmes, James Holmes, he's, you know, checking in at the state hospital. So you get these, you know, assholes that say not guilty by reason of insanity, and then it seems like, I don't, seems like there's a big institution in Colorado to, you know, you need some of them, you need, you know, the mental health, I guess the mental hospital, they need, they need some customers too, right? So he wanted Jorgensen to be deported. Uh, the spring fire erupted on June 27th, 2018. So that's almost four years ago. Near the Costilla Huerfano County line, the fire burned for weeks. Torched more than 108,000 acres. Multiple communities were evacuated in the wake of the fast-moving fire. And the portion of Highway 160 was closed for days. According to an arrest affidavit, 
an arrest affidavit. Jorgensen said he used a fire pit to cook meat for several hours at night and then covered the pit to smother the fire. He told investigators he stirred the contents around to make sure it was out and he saw no smoke, so he believed the fire was out and no longer a threat, according to the affidavit. Investigators asked Jorgensen if he poured water on the fire. He said no, according to the report on June 27, 2018. Jorgensen said he woke up from a nap around noon and smelled fire. He got out of his camper and saw the fire was in sage bushes about 20 feet away from his fire pit. Jorgensen ran towards the fire, attempted to smother it with a blanket, according to the affidavit. When that blanket caught fire, Jorgensen threw it in the fire. He reported the fire, and when contacted by deputies from the Costilla County Sheriff's Office, Jorgensen had burn injuries on his right arm and calf according to the report there was also a burn mark on his chest so he tried to put it out you know and doesn't he get points for trying doesn't he get a couple points for trying so you know i guess if he gets deported right that's something you were living here and you fucking burned down 140 houses that's a it's a good reason to deport a person he's also here illegally so he's not even supposed to be here and it's a, a white face too so I feel like that's consistent with, um, you know, not a, a huge tough on immigrant kind of person, but you got to follow the fucking laws and shit. You burnt down all these damn houses. You getting, you get deported. Now you, you come to this country illegally, you burn 140 houses down. You at the very least get deported. And, um, that that's at the very least is what fair is. It's what's fair. And they're talking about how he's crazy and mentally incompetent and this and that. And I guess if he doesn't get the charges or whatever, but, um, I mean, he was, uh, living right. And he was able to cook for himself and shit, not too great. And then he tried to put the damn fire out. So it wasn't like, you know, it, it was, it was an accident. So I think you got to put that into context. I remember somebody actually from the planning and zoning office was sitting there saying how they know a lot of people that really, really hate that man. God, I know a lot of people that hate that man. I mean, he burned 140 fucking houses down, so... And then them motherfuckers want, you know, more money for their fire and police. What the fuck does their fire and police do? Jesus Christ. You got major fucking crimes. You got major fucking fires. I mean... Yeah, so... It's a, kind of a chicken and egg situation. They want more money. We don't have enough money to do our jobs. Then go to somewhere else where you could actually do your damn job. You're just taking the taxpayer money... And you ain't doing shit. And then when an emergency actually happens, what the fuck? I mean, where the hell were the emergency personnel? So as much as you want to blame old Jesper, you know, where, where was the fire department and the police? And where was the good caring community that says, hey, we don't want 140 houses to burn down? 140 houses. I mean, they should have had, right, the water. They should have had the water connections and shit. And if it's rock... I mean, you could have plowed, you could have uh, established, you know, cut down trees or whatever. So there's a, you could have had a, like a line, right? There's a lot of fucking things that you could have done. If as a community, you gave a shit about the community. But uh, I guess, uh, anyways, Jesper Jorgensen, the charges are going to be dropped. And uh, apparently he's going to get deported, is what it, this, this article. And that's... That's the way it goes.